Hey guys, this is Coach Audrey, and I'm going to show you how to make guilt-free chili cheese dogs. Um, they have really, really yummy ones when you go through the drive-thru at Wiener Schnitzel, and it's one of my favorite foods. I remember as a kid, <laughs> we would go to the dentist, and the only way we would be okay with going to the dentist is because my dad would take us to Wiener Schnitzel afterwards, or Kentucky Fried Chicken. And I always every single time got the chili cheese dogs sometimes with chili cheese fries yeah I was a little bigger when I was younger but um, I can still eat it and not have all the guilt so I am gonna teach you how to do a chili cheese dog guilt free Yay! so you can eat it and you don't have to feel guilty okay and truthfully I think it tastes better and it's a little bit bigger because the ones that they have at Wiener Sitzel are a little small and they're kind of pricey for the size. So real quick, I'm going to pop screens and I'm going to read you a couple of nutritional facts. On a original chili cheese dog served on a standard bun, the little ones, you're looking at 340 calories. 150 of those are from fat. So we're talking half of them are from fat. 17 grams of fat and six saturated. That's just crazy. That's a lot right there. So this is how you're going to do it without having all the fat and all the crap and the yuckiness so you can still have your chili cheese dog and not have all the guilt. So you're going to start off with some Ginny O. I like these personally. They're smoked turkey sausages and it's the cheddar kind. There's the cheddar. There it is. Um, I like them because they actually have the same amount of calories, I think it's like 10, 10 difference, um, and uh, the fat isn't that great, not that bad, but it's a better protein, so obviously it's better for you. Um, you can go with a leaner one, but I like this because it has a cheddar cheese taste in it, but it's good. So I do those, um, and then you're going to go with the bun, you're going to want a whole wheat bun, something like... Ah! Can you see that? Whole grain, whole wheat, this little bun. There's little buns in there. Um, so you have your bun, you have your hot dog. I take my hot dog and I just throw it in the toaster oven because I don't really want to use the oven every single day. So I just throw it in a little mini toaster oven. Um, so I put it in the toaster oven and it gets all yummy and cooked and everything. While I'm doing that, I take the Hormel turkey, no beans. Look at that. Ooh, 98% fat free chili. Yum, yum. Yummy stuff. So I'll take this and I'll put it in a little pan, have it cooking, and it only takes a couple minutes. Um, then let's see here. Then after that, I'll take out the bun, put the hot dog on it, put the chili on top of it, and then I chop up onions because I like onions on it too. And I sprinkle a little bit of reduced fat cheese. Now you can use fat free as well. So then I take it because I'm badass and I put it back in the, in the toaster oven. So I crack myself up sometimes. I am badass, but I put it back in the toaster oven so it tastes even better. So I put it all in the toaster oven, then I clean up my big mess because I like to make messes. And then I grab my computer and I do a YouTube video. But ooh, I hope that's not too hot. Ow! That is too hot. Shoot. Um. I've got my yummy, I don't know if you can see it, but it's there, it's good. Oh, I'm not very good at this, there it is, this yummy chili cheese onion hot dog thing. Freaking good. So, there is your guilt free chili cheese dog minus the wiener sensor. Enjoy, prosper. <laughs> And get fit. I'll see you guys later. Bye.